What's up guys? This is Shitaj. And I'm Tanya. And in today's video we'll be discussing the different wage rate system in Canada. So today we'll be talking about how many hours you're supposed to work to be considered as as full time to be having a full time employment or part time employment. So to start with Alberta, a full time employment is considered when you're working anywhere between 32 to 40 hours. So that's a week. That's weekly, 32 to 40 hours weekly. So if you're working that, that would be considered, considered as a full-time full -time. employment. So yeah, in um, if you're working up to 20 hours, it is considered as part-time. Uh, so zero to 20 is considered as part-time employment in Canada. Uh, some companies, they also break yeah. down the full-time, part-time employment into one more aspect. So there's part-time empl employment, then in between there's short-time employment. So if you're working anywhere between 20 to 30 hours, that's short-time employment. So there's part-time, that's up to 20 hours, short-time, 20 to 30, and then 32, and then 32 to 40 hours is full-time employment. So now we'll be discussing why everything is broken down into majorly two different um, categories, like full-time and part-time. Uh, I think it's because of the benefits, I guess. Yeah. So for benefits, I feel, uh, so if you're working full time, you get access to pretty much every, everything, all the benefits that's included. That's like eyesight, dental, and dental, and like health coverage, life and insurance. Yeah, like everything. Uh, but part time, I guess part time, uh, the, you are entitled to some benefits, but not everything. So. So I think in part time you don't get full access to health coverage yeah, and like uh, it's limited. for your vision also you don't get that coverage. So some companies to uh, minimize the benefit they tend to put you in the part time slab. Part time or short time slab because they don't want to offer you all the benefits. Now we'll be talking about the wages as we told in the introduction like every province has different, different wage rate. rate. So, so we'll be covering Alberta, Ontario and, and BC. British Columbia. So we'll start with Alberta because that's we are, where we, we live. live. Uh, so do you want to tell Yeah, so Alberta has a minimum wage rate of $15 per hour. Uh, it is the maximum, I think, for any Canadian province. They offer the maximum uh, like per hour wage rate, uh, which is nice. So coming to uh, BC now, BC offers 14.6, so $14.60, that's what they offer as their minimum wage rate and Ontario has 14. a wage rate of 14, 14 yeah. So if you see, if you take a look, Alberta does offer the highest wage rate. Mm, wage, rate, wage rate, wage rate, yeah. And the taxes also in this province in comparison to other provinces are uh, I think the lowest because here we pay 5% tax their uh, the people there pay 13% in both British Columbia as well as in Ontario. So this is a nice province. I'm not promoting it, but this is a nice province if you're willing to start your life here. Uh, but it's pretty dead, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, because in BC and Ontario, you have a lot of things to uh, explore. There are beaches in BC, then there are lakes in Ontario. So you get to see nature. Everything, nature, Here, Alberta travel. also is beautiful, but, but it's more for you to explore. So if you are an adventurous person, you can go for a Hiking, hike. You yeah. can go and climb a mountain. But, that's but there wouldn't be... Uh, security as such because we keep on hearing on incidents where people fall into a river and then and you're trapped when you're hiking you're trapped and you encounter a bear so that's all Alberta is nice if you're in short it's nice if you're starting a new life if you're because moving taxes are low also yeah. rent uh, like it's pretty much uh, um, what do you say it's the cheapest. Yeah, it's just cheapest. The gas is cheap. Everything is cheap here. So yeah, if you're and starting, then if you're planning to buy a house or it's a property, cheap. it's cheap as compared to other provinces. So for sure, the choice would be yours. But yeah, that's what all we can say. Like you can consider all these factors, uh, which we have discussed in the video, and take your call to move into one of these provinces. There are other provinces as well. Uh, we are not covering those. We will be. If you want us to cover those, let us know in the comments below and then we'll be covering all the different provinces and the wage rate and everything. But these, especially Ontario, as I told you, Ontario and British Columbia are the most 
popular provinces of and Canada. And most happening as well. Yeah, you you get to see a lot of things. So guys, if you have any questions or if you wanna ask anything related to wages or hours or provinces, then please comment Let us know. below. And we, um, we'll be more than happy to help you. <laughs> and if you like the video, make sure you like, share, share and, and subscribe, subscribe to our channel. Shitaj Tanya Vlogs. Vlogs and don't forget to press the bell icon please <laughs> we'll see you in another video till then take Bye, care take enjoy care.